I decided to do an actual video on proof by cases and have an example that works. So a proof by case is if we say that phi or psi proves x, then what we have to do is we have to assume phi show that chi, and then we have to assume psi show that chi, and then that proves that chi. So as a better example, we have if n is an integer, then n squared plus 3n plus 4 is even. Now, why is this a proof by case? Well, the case 1 is that n is odd. Okay, so then n is going to be 2k plus 1. So we have to show that n squared plus 3n plus 4 is even. So let's substitute 2k plus 1 into each occurrence of n. So we have 2k plus 1 squared plus 3 times 2k plus 1 plus 4, which is going to be 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 plus 6k plus 3 plus 8. Then when we collect all of our terms here, we get 4k squared plus, uh, plus 10k plus 12, and all of these terms are divisible by 2, therefore n is even. So, or sorry, then n squared plus 3n plus 4 is even. So that's good. Case 2, we have to say, okay, well, what if n is even now? So then n is equal to 2k. Well, this should be a little bit easier to solve, at least algebraically. So we have 2k squared plus 3 times 2k plus 4, which will be 4k squared plus 6k plus 4. Again, the whole thing is going to be divisible by 2. Therefore, we know that it is going to be even if our n is even as well. So because we've proven that both are even, independently both can become even, we can conclude that n squared plus 3n plus 4 is always going to be even if n is an integer. So that is a very specific example of a proof by case. Honestly, there isn't much more to that. Uh, proof by cases is just a technique that has to be used in some proof. It's not really a method of choosing how to prove something. It's more like depending on how you choose to prove something, you may or may not need to use proof by case. So that is why this video is incredibly short, because it is a tool that sort of tags along a bunch of different tools you could select. It's either required or it isn't. So that's proof by case. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and I will get to you as soon as possible.